In this video, we're going to take a question from the Green Book or a practical guide to quantitative finance interviews. The question is as followed. Poker is a game in which each player gets a hand of five cards. There are 52 cards in the deck. Each card has a value belongs to a suit. There are 13 values, king, queen, jack, 10, 5, 3, etc., and four suits. What is the probability of getting a full house? We can start off by trying to find how many combinations of five can be made with a deck of 52 cards. This could be found with this calculation here. This will be our denominator as it's the total number of combinations. Next, we'll find the total number of possible full house hands. We could do this with the 13 possible ranks shown on screen. Then we could do four combinations of three to choose three cards from four suits of that rank. And then we can choose a different rank for the second pair. And that's just going to be 12, one combination. Lastly, we're going to choose two cards from four suits of the second rank, hence the combination four two. This will give us the total full house hands. Now that we've calculated the numerator, or the number of full house hands, we can now calculate the denominator, or the number of combinations of 5 made from a deck of 52 cards. You can now see that calculation gives us 2,598,960 combinations, and that'll be our denominator. We can now start drawing out our probability of a full house by putting our numerator and denominator together. We'll then use the greatest common divisor to simplify. We can then use the next greatest common divisor to get our final answer of 6 over 4,165. Now that's how you can solve the full house probability question within a practical guide of quantitative finance interviews. Please like and subscribe if that helped. That'll be all, and I hope that helps.